Hmm? I just need to my lockout. Good day, everyone, and welcome to the fifth episode of the On The Spot podcast. Today, on the spot, we have Travis Johnson and Cade McLintock. So, uh, these guys are the owners or the co-owners of uh, of uh, Tint Formal, if you guys know the company that I'm sponsored by. And uh, it's a huge honor, you know, to, to have to have worked with them the last couple of months. And uh, I've actually almost been signed for... I think a year now and it's been a true pleasure but um we're gonna be hopping into some questions here but uh how are you guys doing today welcome welcome guys how's it everybody thanks for having us oh, all right we go here we go let me quickly just pull up the questions here uh and by the way welcome to everyone in the stream i do appreciate you guys being here today um you guys can later on we will we will be taking some community questions and then um uh, We'll be picking the top ones here and there. So let's just have a look. Chats already knows us, so the boys know us, dude. Yes, sir. Boys and they girls. do indeed. And they've got favorites. They have. And they do indeed. And they do have they favorites. Do. All right. Um, I'm going to start off with the first question I think a lot of people want and would like to know. is um, So it's going to be directed at both of you. So both little, like, Travis, you can answer, but Katie can also answer. Um, but how and when did Tin Formula start and where did it originate from? Do you want to answer, Kat? Okay, I suppose I'll give the first input. Um, so obviously, Travis and I are like, we playing games for a while. Travis obviously a lot more in the competitive scene. Um, and G Fuel's always been a big thing and people have been trying to get it for so long. And we've we tried at every opportunity we could to get our hands on it and bring it into the um, country just so we could try it, you know. And then um, I actually did manage to get it a few years ago. And after I ran out, I was like, yo, I wish I could get more, but um, it just wasn't possible. Then a few years later, it was 2018, I believe, um, Travis and I were like, um, why don't we just make our own G Fuel, basically? And um, yeah. the idea came that we make a local version of it that's um, healthy, provides you with energy, zero sugar. And then obviously uh -huh. cheaper as well. Yeah, that's uh oh there we go, Travis webcam is back. Sorry, yeah, obviously sorry, sorry. obviously cheaper. I mean if we look at like just like a general thing right now, um comparing the prices, for example, of G Fuel and Tinformer, like it's there's there's no debate. Like I don't care how good a product that can be, how I would not be able to get it over my heart to pay seven hundred rand for a tub of um of G Fuel. Of course I don't like it can be great. I've never tasted it before, so I can't really vouch for it, but uh I'd, uh, of course, there comes the, you know, supporting local businesses rather and then it's actually fucking tasteful, you know, like it's, it's so, it's so nice. Um, but yeah, it's like good to like, it, you saw like a gap in the market and like uh, a potential, you know, some, no one has done it before. So uh, you guys were the first. Uh, when did the company originate actually? I'd say the beginning of 2019, end of 2018, we started like really like, tabulating ideas where, where it wasn't just an idea anymore things logos um the company was registered and everything like that so i'd say you're looking at right at the beginning of about 2019 is when tin formula was created all right um all right let's hop on to the next question um so we'll start off with you kate um how did you guys get into gaming and what games did you start like what games got you into gaming at first oh so I actually don't know what the first game, I, um, I don't know, it's between two games, so I remember, I think the first game I ever played was on PlayStation 2 actually, it was a game called Black, which is a first person shooter, yeah. like story mode, I don't know if anyone knows it, if anyone in the chat knows it, well, shout out, um, and I just remember playing that game, I think I played that campaign about 50 times over, um, and then ever since, like that, that was my like first introduction to gaming. And then ever since then, first-person shooters have just been my like number one genre. And then obviously through like primary school, like around like grade five to like seven, whatnot, I used to play um, all the Call of Duties with my mates and stuff. And from then, I've been playing Call of Duties until Matrix. Yes, know, I played Matric, yeah. that's hectic. And then, then I recently just switched over to PC. 
Yeah, I think like a a big thing like everyone was introduced like there was a certain game that got you into like everyone played games when they were younger and like you know when you 10 11 12 years old everyone's playing call of duty they're playing team deathmatch with their buds and you know no one some people knew that you know one of your buds that always played zombies for example on bo2 um like my buds still talk about oh you get this and this gun and this i'm like huh I only played BO2 online. That that's that's the game that got me like mm. into gaming. Um, when I was I think I just started my YouTube channel in 2016, and I got a PlayStation 4. And before I had the PlayStation 4, I had the PlayStation 3, and I legit only had the PlayStation 3. I sold all my games, and then I got BO2, <laughs> and that was the only game I played for a couple months. And then the PlayStation 4 came out, and I was on a big special. I was like, I have to get this, and I was so sad. And it was like. I was so getting just getting good at the game and I was like, ah, I mean you guess. And then I heard some people be like, yo, you can get BO2 on uh, on PS4. And they're like, yeah, but you have to have like a limited edition. I was like, well, that sucks. But like everyone yeah. used to like play games, like, like generally, like you come home Friday or play a bit of games and you go ride bikes or, you know, with your buds. And what would you say is your first like com- the game you played competitive, like competitive wise? So what got you into but what got you into competitive gaming? Um, I don't. I've, I've, I haven't really actually had a much of a career in uh, competitive gaming. Um, Black Ops Four, I think. Yeah, Black Ops Four was kind of the first time I ever really um, tried out the competitive thing, and then um, I ended up playing for actually <laughs> Anarchy Gaming. All right, we should be back. Just give me a heads up in the chat, everyone. Give me a heads up. Give me a heads up. We back. We back. All right. Um, all right. So Travis, um, let's head off to you. What uh, what got you into gaming, and what games did you start playing? <laughs> I don't think mine's as exciting as anything like that. I think I started playing back in back in back in the the very beginning. It was like Club Penguin, type of things like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. And then uh, and then I moved on to you know like some bigger games like Ratatouille. Um, not, well, on, the, on the PC, where you had to hoid the spoon in the lake and fucking play. <laughs> make sure you don't hit anyone while she's shooting with the shotgun, bro. Yeah, and then basically that took me all the way onto PS3, where uh, I was actually playing with with my one mate. If you're talking about competitive playing now, um, and and the one my one his name was Ward, bro. This like that like even that name like it's nostalgic. Um, so back in the day, he told me he's like, no, why don't you come play some um, advanced warfare? So I was like, I wasn't much of a COD boy back in the day. I was like, I was like, ah, oh, COD shit, you know, I'm not going to go play that game, yeah. etc. And they're like, oh, no, just come play, come play. And then, bro, I got instantly addicted to that game. I used to miss almost every day of school so I could get better at the game. Try getting into my first competitive uh, team in Black Ops 3. Um, didn't work out well right at the beginning. And, and towards the end of that game, I think I... I was like, I was one of those names, you know, you underrated, but you're not there yet, you know, like you, yeah, you, you, you're not, you're not like, no one, no one's sort of looking for you, but you're there, you, you like, like in the grinding and like teams, yeah, um, and then I, at the beginning of Infinite Warfare, um, and that's like that, that was like two years ago, three years ago, more, Many yeah, years I ago, think three, three, four years ago, yeah, yeah, so that was long ago, so that's when I when I got into some of the big teams and we started taking down big names. Um, and that's when, when like my team name started growing and, and, and things started like like getting bigger and bigger and more important and um, you learned like the true aspects of like what, what competitive nature is, like how how cruel cruel it can be and like how entertaining it can be at the same time. And that's like really what got me invested into this whole esports world. And then obviously the money and stuff in, involved in, in the esports is I mean it's a billion dollar industry. Yeah. As it is. So like we like there's there's a big big market to, to get involved in. Um so yeah, so basically I I used to play for Sinister Five, uh, some of the big names like that. Um and, and it was it was for a good time, but not for too long. And after that I shortly retired and started focusing on, on other things such as school, uh, and then obviously Tin Formula. That's great. It's actually really like it's it's hard to put your mind around how um, something that you can sit at home, you know, play with people around the world, and it's a, a billion dollar industry. Like, like have you ever thought really about it? Like how crazy it is 
like how no. you, how you can you, make you're, you're thousands of you're dollars you're how, how if you are good enough you can make thousands to hundreds to millions of dollars from playing a game at home like it's yeah. it's mind blowing. I I really like can't. You've made almost thousands of dollars just for my donations. Yeah, basically, <laughs> basically. Um, but yeah, let's head over to the next topic. You guys technically covered. Um, <laughs> you guys have technically Thank already you. covered uh, what organizations you have played for. Ked, you said you have played for like when Anarchy just started off. I was also in Anarchy in the in the OG days, like the OG Anarchy before the revamp came down recently. Um, but yeah, okay. And you said you played for Sinister Five, right, uh, Travis? Yeah, I did. Back yeah. in the day, that was my that was my last team I played for. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I, I know all the boys there. To me about being an anarchy, this unknown, <laughs> thing, and now they are like one of the most known Fortnite like all around. Yeah, yeah but uh, we we're talking about Call of Duty, yeah, my boy. Yeah, um, Call of Duty, talking, Call of Duty, okay. my boy. Uh, it's okay when, from when, being when able to shoot than, anything. I had less than 30 followers, dude. And yeah. I trained Cade, Bri, and, I, and he, can keep, he can vouch for this. I trained him from not being able to shoot a single, single thing in sight to being like... <laughs> to, to, to winning a 1v2 really with Lithium and um, Cobbs. Yeah. Oh, okay, I'm actually familiar with Lithium, man. Eh? Oh, I don't actually know him. Um, okay, now, we, now it's going to be like, a te like taking you back a bit. So I don't know if you'll be able to remember this. Of course, like it's a it's an easy thing to remember if it was a good way, if, if this is a good aspect or a bad aspect. But did your parents support your gaming career? Let's start off with Travis. Um, no. Uh, <laughs> Shut up. No. I supported, I supported my own gaming career. Like uh, I used to bunk school and stuff like that, and I'd say, "No, nah, I'm sick." So that was that was sort of the way I used to support it myself. Um, I don't. I think one of the many reasons that that i had to stop was because i'd often go out and do some stupid shit and then come home and my games would be taken away and then i wouldn't be able to play for like two weeks and my team would fall apart and we wouldn't finish well in dgl etc so yeah as far as I, I think i think what what if i could go back and i'm sure if, if my, my parents could go back now and also like and, and see how big this community is and how, how like fast is growing and the, the amount of money and 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 uh, exposure you get they definitely would and i think i would have been in the states right now probably pursuing a call of duty career yeah if i could yeah like and you know times are different you know even as big as five years ago the gaming scene and the gaming community and the esports scene itself has changed has changed so much in an exponential way in, in, a, in a good way um but the same opportunities people had have today were not even in sight for you know you had to be the best of the utter best to be seen by a team like for example one of the best csgo teams are back yeah, in cloud nine for example cloud nine one of the best now today they're like you know all these new and upcoming organizations getting all these underrated players in in any game actually because social media is at such a big of an of an effect you know streamers content creators um you know promoting these games to their viewers and um i feel that's had like a big impact on the, on the whole scene especially you know yeah. time as well um and then Dude, like, Kate... i mean those cloud nine players those south african jt and sonic brew they like yes yeah, so i'm familiar heroes. with sonic Good. yeah i'm familiar he I played uh... jt yesterday yeah and like i thought like i know sonic like I've, I've spoken to him in dms before um as soon as he joined atk i was like yo congrats on this and this, this and then uh, i remember the game actually they played against um i woke up the morning it was in the exams uh last year uh in what was it last year i think it was last year um, it was in the exams, and they were playing against, uh, I think, hundred thieves, and they just got a oh my soul! They, they, I, I, I didn't even, I couldn't keep up. Like I, I was just like, well, I just woke up for them to get fifteen owed on flipping um, on train. I was like, wow, GGs. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, that's one of this. Yeah, that's yeah. how you get exposure. That's how you, you, you know, you, you get seen, and that's where most likely, you know, they play in these big leagues. What do you call it? CSL and all these, all these leagues, and that's where you get known. We can actually yeah. be seen as a, a a player that has a lot of potential. And when yeah. when people or big organizations see that, they don't hesitate because they have the money, they have the financing to grab you and give you the opportunity of a lifetime. I mean, Sonic now is a professional esports player, and that is his job. Like from a south that african tracks, person really? grinding yeah. the game every day for 10 hours and just focusing on that and look at where he is today like that is a good example of how where hard work can get you not yeah. not not like everyone's excuses y'all we in south africa and this and this okay so a game like fortnite yes i can agree we don't have servers you can't pursue the game to the full like to your best ability but 
you can um in a game like CSGO or a game of South African service, you can do that. Like, you know, you can do that. Can okay, we all just admire, you know, Scar, Travis's cat there in, in the in the, <laughs> the top of his gun. <laughs> uh, oh, that's I amazing. Like I was gonna say, I, I always used to have this saying. Nothing is like a plus that can apply to everyone. Um, if you want to be the best, you got to play the best. Like, not not just the best game, but you got to play the best players. Like, you can't you can't expect to improve if you're not competing against the best of the best. Like ever, you're gonna always play at the standard of the people you're playing against. And it's the same for work, and it's the same for, for anything. If you're not if you're not uh, competing against the best of the best um, opponents or, or the best of the best companies, then then you're gonna drop your standards. Um, so that's uh, like, like I said, that's that's a big part in what everyone has to do, like achieve in their lives. If you're not competing against someone else, there's always there's always rivalries, and rivalries are good because they make they bring out the best yeah. in you. And a, and one thing in the game community, I feel, is you can never get comfortable. As I talked about this last podcast, little, like regarding content creation and being a streamer and a YouTuber. You can never be comfortable or you can never settle because there's always, you can always be better. You can always be bigger on social media. So that's why I feel there's always someone trying to take your spot. And that's why you should never stop working hard. So grinding every single day, don't think... You know, of, of course, you need to have balance or what, or what but yeah. uh, you need to make sure you stay ahead. If you are in that position, you need to stay ahead and in the position that you are. Um, Thanks. So I really, I really think that's a big, you know, whatever. <laughs> uh, mm. Let's hop over to the to the next. Okay, this is a very interesting topic, and you guys told me there's a good story behind this when we went through the questions yesterday. Yeah. But uh, um, how did you guys come up with the name Tint Formula? I was. I've also been wondering this. I feel a lot of people, you know, supporting Kate the product Kate as well. Has his own his own beliefs no, about no, the story, no, 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 no. and then I've got mine. He'll tell you he came up with this, and Charles will tell you that he came up with. It. Yeah. I, th- so uh, I think let's get a vote in the chat. Who do you guys think it was? Let's get a vote in the chat. Travis or Kate? Who do you guys think came up first with the First, tell the stories. First, tell the okay. Let's let's hear the stories know. first. Let's hear the stories first. Knock yourself out, Travis. Go first. Okay. I'll go first. So listen, this is this was the thing, okay? Back in about 2018, mid-year 2018, um, went to go meet Kate. We've we've come up with the concept, we've come up with the flavors, we've come up with everything. Now we need a name, okay? We're sitting down. I've got this little book, this little green book, like a small little notepad, and, I'm, and we go and we have uh, lunch at Tasha's, okay? And we're having a meeting with one another. So I say to him, um, listen, Kate. Uh, we need to come up with a name. So we like brainstorming, brainstorming, and then I remember no. We but, came up with some very interesting names. Also. Yeah, I know there's some strange names. Yeah, very strange. I mean, like I wouldn't, I won't say like other names to <laughs> compare, but <laughs> some, some, some names similar to that. Um, so we, we like we were brainstorming, brainstorming, and then we like, what like, inside someone, and I told Kate this. I was like, like you, we're trying to like get something out of someone, and like when you when when you look at a car. Like, I knew it. I knew it. Someone. And it's and you know like a tinted window. Yeah. Like a tinted that was window. My idea. A tinted window and 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 <laughs> a person inside of it. Like like and we had this whole idea for a campaign and for an advert like um to to have just give me a second. Can you can you put this off that please Alex? Okay. <laughs> um we had this whole idea for an, for an advert and, and a campaign to have somebody like the music pumping out of this car, this tinted black car to come driving down with music pumping and fucking you name it, dude. And then they open the window and it's and it's and there's this guy like standing on the street and he gives him some tung formula and then he's also ready to party, bro, and, and get in the car and it's the same like hidden energy inside that. Inside yeah, the inside thing, the, yeah, yeah. I think that everyone has that hidden energy, bro. Everyone. Like it doesn't matter who you are, how um, introvert or extroverted you are. You, you, everyone has that ability to come alive, bro, that animalistic nature within them. And I feel like we, we've made we've made a product that almost almost gets you somewhere near that. I mean, you'll, you we can't. I'm not going to assure anyone that you're going to become an animal. But, uh, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm saying that's that's sort of like what I'm saying. Yeah, no, I get what you mean. I get what you mean. So Kate can tell All you right, story Kate, now. Then. Let's uh, let's no, hear. I, I don't have a story. That that's the story. Because I'm otherwise I'm going to be. <laughs> Fighting with Travis for this for the next two weeks, and I don't have the energy to do that. I All right, so you don't have so that much energy. You don't have that much energy. So then I suggest you get yourself a tub of tin formula, my boy. Do the do the tin challenge. I think, by the way, other way we're gonna end off the stream, but I'll tell you guys a bit later. 
Um, yeah, sure. Um, all right. Um, let's head up over to the next question slash topic. Um, how big of an effect do you think your product has made in the South African gaming community? Um, okay, well, Travis isn't here. Travis isn't here. Uh, um, okay, well, here now. Okay, let's uh, go. Think, okay. Okay, in all honesty, so, like, our one, like, goal and what we wanted to do is we don't just want to be, like, a company that just to make money or whatever. We wanted to build a name in the community and have, like, personal relationship with our customers and our sponsors and everyone involved. Um, and, like, transparency was our number one value. We want to make sure that everyone knows exactly what's happening and we don't want to be hiding anything away from anyone, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like, especially recently, um, at, the sl at the beginning I went live, um, it was re relatively slow growth, um, but recently, um, past six to seven months or so, um, our growth has been insane, exponential. Um, we've signed some really good sponsors like yourself, um, <laughs> we've just had some great ideas and everything, and recently uh, it's been popping off there. I mean, and, and popping. I can popping. with all honesty say I'm so happy and I'm so honored to be to be sponsored by you guys and um, to see for example where you guys parted with me and to see where we were back then and where I was back then and if we look on today there was exponential growth and, and Brian, that's why more to come bro. exactly way more like and I say this is just the Hit of the beginning, not even, exactly. not even like the mid tier of the beginning. It's like I haven't scratched the surface. Right at, right at like the bottom of the grave that Diavol puts all his uh, opponents in. Exactly, and that's so it's, yeah. it's down there, bro. Like we, we've got we. I can promise you, in in the next year, next next. Oh, I'm sure there's a question coming, but you, you, you. There, this duck. I can't even explain it, bro. I don't so even have words. Question. I don't have words. Ooh, speechless. Speechless. Um, but yeah, I do think it's uh, it's gonna get you know, it's gonna go better and better and better, and uh, the growth is just gonna be even more insane. You know, every month, um, signing new content creators. You know, tier one, tier you, tier tier two, ever you want to sign, and everyone's gonna put. You know, only this, like I can, I feel this was a very smart idea to do, and I had some, um, I have some ownership in this idea. Uh, but uh, you know the whole affiliate program. But I feel this has gotten the whole community to be like, yo, wait, Tinform is doing, you know, a, a, what affiliate? Wait, let me try and apply. And then they actually like inquire. They oh, every, everyone wants to be sponsored. So and then people are like, oh, maybe I should try the product. You know, like I want to get a sponsor by these oaks. And then they try the product. They're like, wow okay i definitely want to be affiliated or sponsored by these guys and the name in the last week has already grown in the last month has already grown so so much more it's it's yeah. absolutely crazy it's it's a big it's a big thank you to yourself dear Walt. like thank i said you, like like um i'm sure k just explained it to you um when we came into this it wasn't it wasn't a money scheme like a lot of these these big uh, corporations are they're trying to grab every little bit of coin that they can out of someone and 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 manipulate them into giving it to them for free and stuff like that um we didn't want to do that we that's why we started this this partnership um hierarchy and and it's and it gives you i don't know if, if anyone if you, anyone in the chat's played like csgo when you rank up you get that 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 reward that incentive so we've done that in a way that it's not too hard to achieve but when you achieve it there's just so many rewards that that come your way and and dear Vault's yeah. been one of one of those successes to that um and that's why we let you use dear Vault, use our platform for for his merchandise etc because we believe in him and and we believe that his ideologies match that of, that of tin formulas 100 uh, percent. i really like i appreciate the kind words and it's uh it's just like it's weird to see like uh, when i talk to my friends like the first day when we had so a lot of people the people that don't know but uh there was we started banting around like around i was like yo haha maybe i can get my own flavor soon you know how they're like wow that's you know if you if you sell the, the original thing i think it was twenty thousand in the first four three months right that was like yeah. when we said they're like yo we can look into it and we did yeah. in the last i think four weeks we did over 20 tubs and that's just the just the speculation to for everyone to be like how insane you guys as a community are and the product itself is because people have already their tubs aren't even finished and they're already buying their second tub to try out the new flavor because they know they're not going to be disappointed they're going to be 
you know, it's just going to be another great experience, get, you know, tasting that new flavor. Um, but, uh, and then, you know, the banting around came and then, you know, the devil blackberry flavor <coughs> coming soon. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to be teasing. I'm going to be teasing too much about this in the next couple of weeks, but, uh, it's been, it's been a crazy ride and it's just, I feel growth is just going to be, it's going to be skyrocketing. Dude, it's just, like I said, it's just the beginning. Like, a, like these podcasts, these, these <laughs> days we come into the chats and stuff like that. Um, just the beginning. Like we, we still want to keep doing that for the, for as long as, uh, as we together. And I'm sure it's going to be a very, very long time. Um, we just want to, we're going to keep supporting the boy when one day when Diablo Black's got a million subscribers, we want to know that Tin Formula was there, dude. Tin, and I promise you guys, I G Fuel can come to me with a sponsorship. I will never have the, the you know the love for them or any other people than you guys. Like I, I really love you guys. You guys have become not even not only my sponsors, but you know some of my you know best friends. You know on the on online, and yeah. I'm boys. so excited, so excited to come to South Africa and meet you boys. I'm so excited to come to South Africa and meet you guys. And we're gonna. But if you weren't so ugly, I think it'd be more sincere. <laughs> But yeah, uh, thank you guys like, once again for the for the opportunity you guys given me. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's hop over to the next topic. Um, let's keep growing, bro. Let's keep let's keep growing and grinding. Oh, that that oh, that would look well on a t-shirt. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> right, dot it down. down. Um, all right, so this is a uh, yeah okay. So this is a uh, like a prediction half and off. So where do you guys see yourself? Um, yourselves in the next five years so there's more like a personal question like what would you want to be doing how like yeah you can explain you can explain yourself okay can go for first, first. Uh, <laughs> how old will you be then kate 14 uh, no, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. I don't know why he's not adding Travis, but I'm, I'm, at least I'm taller than him. I'm also taller than Travis, so we won't talk about it. <laughs> Tegan's busy saying, if you don't say with the baby, I'm on edge. <laughs> 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 no, I don't see myself with a baby in the next five years, I hope. Ooh, Travis's girlfriend just said with the Ooh, ooh, okay. Oh, pretty interesting there. Travis, you need to listen, take tips. Oh, okay. I don't have an answer. I don't think I've actually thought about it. You've not thought about it in depth enough. Like, I have my kind of just like go going. I've had like thoughts in the past, um, but like right now, like I quite honestly don't even have time to like let myself think. We've been so busy, and like I'm actually just so grateful for that right now in the present moment. <laughs> um, like, uh, I don't know yeah all right um but yeah of course that's fine like i mean you're still you're still young i mean i'm even younger than you but like the thing is like some people don't think about stuff like that um and i 100 percent get where you're coming from uh travis uh let's uh, let's uh, see see what the boy oh, thinks dude, i've got lots of plans i mean how many of them i'm gonna achieve i have all of them but first thing i want to have Actually, I'm not going to go through that, but yeah. No, no, no. Um, <laughs> McLaren, Lamborghini. The Lambo is one of them. I want to I be driving a nice Coyote uh, Performante or a, a, an Aventador or Aracan or sometime then. I mean, I love cars. So yeah. I, love, I love cars. So I mean, we can see it as a tin yeah, formula. I'm one, of, I'm one of those guys that would, would live, live in a tin house and, and drive a Lamborghini. So... Um, as, as dumb as, as I might sound and as somebody that's, that wants to, is, is very involved in real estate and stuff like that. Um, I, I, I would like to focus on trying to build my brand and build Tint's brand in, in the next five years and, and maybe myself, dude, I don't know where, where the future is going to take us. You never know when you're going to, when, when your next days could be the last, um, and you never know if, if you're going to go upwards or downwards. We just, we just hope that, um, we move forward. Yeah, hundred percent. Um, Mal X Dirks, thank you so much for the subscription, my dude. I really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Just a reminder to everyone in the stream. Um, welcome once again. Make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe. Um, make sure you guys can super chat, become a member, donate, all of those nice thingies down below. Check out uh, Tin Formula in the description down below, or type your submission mark Tint. Um, let's actually open up the commands very quickly. Um, but the next question is more like a, you know, fun question actually. Uh, what games do you guys enjoy playing at the moment? So what do you have the most fun playing? 
CSGO will always be one of my favorite games of all time. I've been playing CSGO for way too long. Yeah. Um, on multiple accounts. <coughs> I wonder. Okay, let's pause the question right there. Um, this question, not not. Oh my soul, Gogabi. Gogabi, you you interrupting me when I want to call out Kate. But thank you for the ten dollar donation. We love let's you, Gogabi. Ten dollars. Let's go. You so another one of the ten formula partners. Another one of the ten formula partners. Um, but yeah, as I said, interrupting Kate. Uh, Kate, have you ever hacked um in CS:GO, for example? I don't know. I have you? Um, I can't say I have. Yeah. No. Oh, all right. Yeah, you uh, fucking so liar. <laughs> Oh uh, no, then the three must know actually, Kate. Okay. Nah, like generally, I've I've also acted in CSGO, never in a public yeah, game. Hundred percent transparency, okay. Yeah, listen, this I, I remember uh, I played with Kate with for three years. Okay, three no, two years, okay, two years, okay. Of CSGO. Every single day winning games with Kate. At least like two three. Kate gets back banned, okay? Two hundred of my games get taken away when I was in DMG or, or close to Ali. Back to Nova 3, just like that. No, 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 no warning, nothing. Thanks to Kate, and I handled it very well. Yeah. And now the rest of my answer. All right, so go. Please the continue. Valorant, I've been picking up quite a lot, but I just need servers. They re released competitive last night. I stayed up till five o'clock to play. Played three comps, didn't win one because competitive was so good. Your mic's buzzing out. Okay, your mic's. It's doing yeah. that again. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Yeah, wonderful, wonderful. Oh no, he's got his low quality. <laughs> oh goodness. Yeah. Uh, everyone... Let's <laughs> go is not my game anymore because that's why my mic is broken. I smashed it against the table. See, that's because of the game. See, do you no, not play CSGO because games. He was raging, he was just trying to show me. I was like, okay, it's got this oh, thing yeah. where he goes, he, yeah, I'll go and make a sound and he'll go, do it again, say it again. So he made the sound, he's like, and I was like, do it again, and he was like, oh, 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 no, fucking. I said, an M4 or a, G or a GTR or something just came past my house and it was popping and banging, and it was going, and then he was like, do it again, do it again. Then I took my fucking mic, because like the mic on the Astros is detachable, and I stopped pulling it against, against the desk, and then. They're also yeah. if that's a cat in the background. <laughs> yes, it is a cat in the background. Um. <laughs> um Right, but uh, I that's mean, a, that's me... a tent cat, dude. Yeah, I'm, okay, and then uh, Travis, what games do you enjoy playing at the moment? Uh, none of them. What's I don't enjoy playing games. I, I do not. I bad. very. I hate that. I do not. I've spent agree. way too much money on that game for them not to give me a knife. And the other opens three <laughs> but anyways. <laughs> And sold the knife for 5,200 Rand yesterday. Um, Where's that money right now? Oh, yeah, it's in Kate's uh, account. My boy Tristan just ordered a tub of tin formula with code Let's Diabolt. Let's go, Tristan. Let's Huge shout go, out to Tristan. your boy Tint. I trust, trust Tristan. I really appreciate it, my bro. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, I think what games I'm enjoying at the moment. I mean, I do enjoy CSGO. Like, if I actually rank with my. Well, if I play with my rank, I do really enjoy the game. Like, I feel I'm a decent player for my rank. Even when I was MG2 or in the MG, like, I was still playing decently. Um, but now recently, when I when I play, I only play late nights, and then we only match with Supremes, DMG, Ali. I'm just like, it's not fun. Recently, it's not fun. Yeah. Valorant, I feel the game has so much potential. I'm really enjoying yeah, it. it. Like, I haven't played it in, like, a week. With I played it last with my bud. But, yo, it's so fun. It's really fun. SA when SA servers game, come, I'm going to be grinding that game. I'm really going to be grinding Apparently, that game. I think like this, um, people are estimating about two months. But then again, Fortnite, they've been saying that for two years. So. No, no one's been saying that. They just shut. They just don't want to say shit. <laughs> but, but Valorant has given like some hope, at least. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Um, know, so some court talent tweeted something and then... Yeah, but then of course, you know, my main game, stream, what everyone watches me for, you know, Fortnite. I love the game. It's it's so weird how this, how the, how the game has changed my life, you know, for me. Like, I, I remember the first day I ever played Fortnite, the Bulls were playing against the, the Lions the day at like 5 p.m. And I was like, wait, Dad, let me quickly just switch over. I want to download this new game that I saw some YouTube videos on. I downloaded the game that night. It was the first day I ever stayed awake 
until 3 a.m. And like two, uh, one hour in playing the game, I'm like, wait, 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 I can stream on PlayStation. I did my first 360p stream on PlayStation. I peaked at, I think I peaked at five viewers at the time. And I was like, oh, that's, that's fucking gold, dude. Like, yeah. And then that's where my, like, my passion and my love for streaming came in. And it's like, it's so weird how if I never downloaded that game, I wouldn't have been in this position, position yeah. I am today. And it's mind blowing. It's really that's nice. That's amazing, to see that. Brie, how big the gaming, like, how, how many, and the connections, Brie. It doesn't matter if you're playing Rainbow Six Siege or Call of Duty or, or CSGO, Brie. Everything is so connected because it's digital and it's online. So it, everyone can be everyone in the community. Everyone knows everyone from each community. I'm sure you know who Optic Scump is. Yeah. And and I'm sure you know who Nade Shot is. Hundreds, yeah. And you play Fortnite, Bruce. So, like, it's... Do you see what I mean? Yeah. Like and, a... and just the example, for example, I would never, for example, um, I started getting into the Fortnite scene. I smashed with a random person in duos. We started playing together. He connected me with his friends. And um, later on, I don't even know how I got into the first... Um, South African scene. I think I was watching Don the day, and then I met Storm Test Charles. If you guys know uh, who he is, and then I got recruited to my first clan ever, Zeno. Zeno was actually like a big team back then, and that's how um, I get I got to meet certain players. And then uh, the community grew. I met uh, Fortcast was a thing, so Fortcast is like a, a Fortnite podcast, um, and that's how I saw Delas. And Delas, his first ever stream that he got partnered with you guys. I was like, wow, Tin Formula. Like, yeah. Like, wow, I didn't know this South African company. Reach out to you guys. Wasn't a week. Contract signed. And then I was uh, a part of that. Like, that's what I mean. Like, the whole process of how you meet people and, like, this person is that guy. This, like, you guys put me in touch with people that, you know, you guys can do the website for me, for example. You guys know people that can do this and this and this. That's our connections. Like, Although we've never, for example, met each other, we talk on a daily basis, we sitting thousands of miles away from each other, but the connections are like this. Like, it's... Oh, dude. We're brothers, dude. It's Those crazy. And that's it's another crazy. thing why I would say I would never sell out to a corporate, like a big, for example, G Fuel, is because of the love and the... And, like, you can't replicate this, the, the bond, like the family. Like, yeah. you're part of the 10 fam. Like... Uh, if you're a supporter, if you're a per person that just supports, that don't even doesn't even buy a tent, if you're a person that supports the the product and you, no, you the know, ideas behind it, that's the most important. Like if you if you're supporting the the motors and, yeah, and the and movement goals and yeah. That stuff, yeah, dude, then then you you're tent fam, dude, all the way. Hundred, and it's oh, it's it's mind blowing, mind blowing. I've been using that word too much, but I have to use that word to <laughs> to explain everything. Um, all right, um, this is a bit like, I don't know how to classify this question, but so this one's gonna go to you as well, Travis, and to Kate. So uh, what do you think of, of the competitors in the, in the, in the scene for your, for your product? Um, like I say to everyone, we wanna, we wanna have um, healthy, positive, and, and healthy <clears throat> competition is the most important thing. I think I mentioned earlier that rivalry is good um it brings out the best in you i mean we've we we've had our ups and downs as a company um especially from at the beginning right at the beginning when we didn't have an influx of cash flow and stuff like that um we weren't able to deliver to the standards that we wanted to and that's why we stopped for a little bit just so that we could refocus on the product yeah um and make sure that we were delivering to the standards that we we keep now we make sure that the product is what we say it's going to be um every single time and we we want consistency more than anything else. Um, as far as our, our, our competitors go, we we know their names and we know we know who they are and everyone knows who they are. Um, but I've I've got respect for for everyone and and even though there there might have been some things in the past and we will argue till the end of time who did what first. Um, we know that we were here first and we yeah. can validate that in every single way. Um, they, we, we, we respect the rivalry and we'll let them continue the way they've continued um, till the end of time so like I said it's, yeah. if that's how it's going to be that's how it's going to be and, and we will we'll continue trying to 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 give a, deliver tin formula as a product and, and focus on ourselves and, and let them do what they want to do yeah. um, we just know that our brand is our brand and their brand is theirs and we know that we're the best 100% 100% agree with you like the respect has to be there hold on the 
for some reason it's your, your face your face yeah i know and when you left the face cams hold on or like when it crashed the thing dubbed out for some reason just have a look here yeah. uh discord travis are you there yeah i'm here i'm or just your, oh your now. camera yeah yeah don't worry the thing is hopefully back should be back sorry for the little uh technical little little te technical difficulties um i'm just waiting for travis to get back there um but i'm just going to continue speaking although we can't see travis like the respect has to be there for your for your opponents and like your competitors in the scene i feel those are the people at the end of the day your not your haters not like but your competitors help you to grow as a company and as a person and they want they make you want to be better for example yeah so for example they um they work harder to be better than you you guys work better to be better than at the end of the day it's it's a race and it's a never ending race that's that's what i mean i wouldn't say never ending you know, but i mean uh, nah, it might come ending, to an, an, it's ending someday um but you know the respect like you have to respect someone else's grind as well you know doing doing the they what do you call it like having also the initiative to yeah, do something everyone's like that to make a living dude and everyone's exactly. going to have to put food on the table at the end of the day um, everyone's got families and stuff like that. So, as much as as much as hard it is, like maybe I don't drive a Lamborghini now, but uh, like I said, we all keep focusing on our product and making sure that we deliver the best quality tin formula that we can. Um, we're not worried about everyone else. We just want we want everyone else to be themselves, and we'll continue delivering to the standard that we do. And that's what I would. Li that's what I like to hear. Um, to you. let's go. Um, I think we go hopping into the last couple of questions and then we're going to hop into some community questions from the chat. Um, but the last question is going to be, are there any new flavors that are going to be released soon? Oh, not many. Not, not one. <laughs> uh, it's not a couple of years, but right now, not, no, not one. I, I made out. Cheers, guys. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um... I'll I'd say yeah, there's, there's going to be some some very special announcements soon. Next next couple of weeks, we'll have some sneak peeks for everyone. Yeah, for for everyone in, in the chat and everyone that supports us. That's great. That's great to hear. <clears throat> um, but yeah, all right. And uh, now you guys can. Uh, I would love to hear some questions by you guys. You can say question is for um, Diavold, question is for Travis, Travis, uh, question is for Kate, or for everyone. You guys can uh, drop some uh, drop some questions that we I can, have a can answer. To me. All right. Interesting. Interesting. Just wait. Um... He's about to say something about Travis. Hundred oh. percent. Uh, next thing you say something about some tweet that was posted long travis ago. and cade now if you guys just go have a look at the chat right now you'll see you can use code on the spot for 20 percent of your time Ooh, okay oh, for anyone for anyone in the stream right now there is a code on the spot for 20 percent of your order when you order tin formula get yourself some tin formula right now type exclamation mark tint go check uh, go check the website you can get yourself a little, have all the tubs here on my right, stacked to the brim. If you guys can see here, you can get yourself Cherry Blast, Original Lush Orange. Get yourself, there's a 20% off code. Go get it right now. Um, I just ordered two tubs right now. I'm done. Oh, yeah, it's so I'm unlucky. <laughs> so unfortunate. Justin, you, you really got you, you went you know, something well. Justin. Oh, goodness. That's amazing. All right, but... uh. Kirito asked or sign asked Travis and Kate, is it safe to eat tint? I'm gonna try and eat the powder now, lol. <laughs> Wish me luck. I don't know um, I mean I mean it just it's gonna give you a hub to it, eh? It. Uh, yeah, I don't recommend it, but I'm so it's not it's not the, I don't, it can't no, kill you're you. not gonna have negative side effects. Yeah. I mean don't it's an energy drink, not an energy food. <laughs> not an energy, yeah. <laughs> you will see this oak flying. <laughs> Travis and Cade um getting i'm getting ten soon any suggestions what to get lush orange bundle lush orange bundle original, from uh, three tubs, you know? why not? original why not all three yeah why not why not all three we yeah we haven't got someone with all three today someone it came close though someone bought two tubs you van and luan yeah. bought two tubs each and then tristan also tristan bought all three though tristan bought two My today is original original is a blueberry is it's a blueberry flavor like an energized blueberry Travis and Kate, how many cups a day do you drink? How many shaker cups? 
Oh, it depends on the t on the day. Today, I think I drank around five to six because I only slept for forty five minutes. Oh, that's always great to hear that. Eh? <laughs> I mean, we were busy last night with the whole merchandise thing, and uh, we were staying up late. And yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, because um, I went off at three a.m. Not not at all. Like you went four hours on your own, you know, streaming Valorant. Yeah, yeah. You know, not at all. Well, and I had one <laughs> solid year, boys. One solid year. That's poggers, that's poggers. So we're gonna play some Valorant just now. What flavor is original? It's a blueberry. Lush, don't care. <laughs> Which one is the a best? Um, all They're of them all are the best. best. They're all the best. Yeah. But my ranking, if I had to say like my ranking, like all of them, I'd love them all equally. But I'd say my favorite is be like I can't decide between Lush and, and Cherry. I like, and I need to find like the perfect way to mix the blueberry oh, still. Oh, that's not how it works. Um, I legit drink five a day. Yeah, I mean, I drink. I think I drink two per stream, and then one in the afternoons when I'm editing, or, and then when I start gymming next week, I'm probably gonna drink another one when I gym as well. So that's gonna be. Is Pebble a female? No, Pebble is a Pebble is a boy -tie. Um, how do you make tint, Kate and Travis? Well, the product gets imported in this natural form, in powdered form from. Um, overseas, it, 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 each ingredient gets imported separately. It gets mixed here, packaged here, sealed here, and then um, created here. And then obviously to Namibia now as well. Yeah, that's... So everything's done by us except for the actual ingredients themselves get imported here. Yeah. Controller boys, thank you so much for the for the sub, dude. I really do appreciate it, man. Welcome to the stream. Um, I think I've got another question here. Cherry is power. Yeah, Isabel saying cherry is on top. Uh, I'm a I'm a orange oak, yeah. Uh, I'm I'm enjoying the lush orange a lot. Uh, Travis, is he knows? Is he knows? Is he knows? Yeah. And she knows that cherry is powerful. And we met Izzy today. Um, what an experience. In the wonderful tint. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to drive that car. I cannot oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. A uh, question from what? Oh, wait. For, let's go. Shinny from or Ashton. What's up, Josh Gamer? Uh, from Ashton. Travis and Ken, have you guys ever had straight pa Wait. Straight powder and what does it do? Oh, just, just the powder. It's, as I said, we don't recommend it, but it's not going to kill you. It's going to give you a, like a hip stoicky for the day, eh? If you want to wake up and... Uh, you know, please do not put it in the microwave, Megmong. Please do not ever put your, never put your tin form in the microwave, please. Oh goodness gracious me, never. So we might be considering an egg palm flavor. Egg. Oh yeah, that's always nice. Eh? Um, will Devil be able to get his only flavor like G2 has done with Shimas? Um, uh, coming soon. Shh. No, no leaks. No leaks. No oh, blackberry. No oh, blackberry. <laughs> Mm. Ah, uh, can't, nah. even, can't even behave himself, bro, for like 15 seconds. Nah, it's just like three oh, seconds. Just much have to take that flavor away from you. Oh, goodness. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, control controller army raid. Thank you so much for the raid. Controller army. Let's go. That's why I got a controller, boys. Thank you guys so much. What's up, BFP? What's up, guys? Thank you guys for the raid. I'd really appreciate it. Welcome to all the new people. We are doing a bit something different today. We do usually stream Fortnite, but we do a podcast every week, maybe once or twice. So uh, to all the new people, make sure you guys leave a like. We are seven likes off of a hundred. <laughs> Izzy, Izzy Berry. That sounds like a plug, dude. <laughs> Thank you guys all for joining the stream. Izzy Berry. Oh goodness. That is wonderful. Please read Travis and Kay. What do you think about the state of Fortnite and its boss? They okay. So okay, I'm, I, there's no actually point of them asking them because they're not really Fortnite players. Um, so what? That doesn't really apply to them. Like you know, I've, got, you know I've I mean. got a comment on it. Okay, I'll, go I'll for it. Say, um, if you look at Ninja, like that's probably the easiest way to compare this. Um, the guy has made thirty million dollars just from me signing over to Mixer. He's turned gaming and and its perspective of gaming from something that's you know like uh, like a, uh, there's a bad uh, taboo about gaming and and it's it's a big taboo in the world uh, where people view gamers as lazy um inactive fat you name it and and he's changed that into something like that that can be a career um and i think a lot of streamers are benefiting because of that and i think twitch and and a lot of those those um, streaming platforms even youtube itself has grown because of of people like ninja and fortnite in particular so the possibilities for Fortnite, I mean, they have, what, what is their price for? It's, it's huge. It's like $100 Massive, million. Yeah. Dollars. yeah, so I mean, endless possibilities. Endless. I say, I say you see, you could see 
arenas filled with 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 gamers like you i'm just big big arenas bigger than big, bigger than super bowl arenas filled with gamers and i think that's where where this is heading i i cannot agree with you more like this is like uh, as a lot uh, a lot of people have the assumption let's put it like that um that fortnite's dying and fortnite had ha has had a big dip as you've seen in players and what or what and other games can rise but i feel there isn't a game that has made such big of an impact in the whole esports scene and the whole gaming scene ever you know players from 10 years old to 40 years old i've seen you know grandpas play fortnite which is nothing really like the game is for literally everyone and i feel this game has made such has had such a big of an effect and that's why I don't think this game is going to die out soon. Not, 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 not at all. Yeah, at least. I think so too. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's got. Everyone's got that. Do you have a bubble gun? <laughs> we do like something special every one of these days. We do a fan fan flavor. Or not? Or, or we just focus on you know other <laughs> other things. Travis Strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness gracious me! my pink lips, dude. From the, uh, I can't even say it. Goodness gracious me! Uh, Diablo, new shot on leaked. Hey, look at the color of this Diablo. Sneak peeks, dude. <clears throat> oh, what, what are you drinking there, Travis? Uh, I can't tell you, dude. I oh, oh okay. To show you the color of it. Oh, it's fucking red. Wow, so delicious. Mm hmm. Wink, wink. <laughs> what's up, Reepsy? Good old day. What's up? What's up? All right, but um. Do you guys reckon we raid someone today when we end the stream? Do you guys think we can do on-the-spot raid and not devil raid? Oh, no, that's not how it works. But, <laughs> that's not how it works. But, hey, stop trying to fucking um, hijack people's streams here, dude. dude Every I'm day. Gonna, I'm going to overtake devils in the next two months. Two months. Yeah, that, you know, Reepsy manifest. Raspberry. Oh, raspberry. Oh, that sounds raspberry. like a flavor, dude. Flavor and a half, mate. I think we go over to a... Uh, Mr. Hachi's stream. I don't think I've ever rated Mr. Hachi. Nah, no, they're playing competitive. They're playing competitive. Um, someone who's not playing competitive. We can do Hanks. Let's do Hyper Hanks. Hyper Hanks. Hyper Hanks. Hyper Hanks. Let's help the boy out. Help the ma Not the boy. He's two meters tall. Um, go over to his chat. Go type uh, on the spot raid. So we're not going to do devil raid today. We're going to do on the spot raid. And uh, go over to his channel right now. I'll link it. Uh, you guys won't be able to see him, but uh, go over to his channel, leave a like on his stream, and then say on the spot trade. Let's see if that's true. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Someone asked that. Ah, oh, a thousand rand. Whoa, whoa. <coughs> on what? the spot on the until 6am, oh, dude. It's the podcast. Oh, that sounds very dodgy. It's the podcast, guys. <laughs> Welcome. No way, dear vault. No way, dear Thanks, tell us how many uh, subs you gain. It doesn't matter. Bro, you don't understand how I've missed a raid. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Guys, go over, guys, go over. I'm Hype Hanks. You guys want to do me a favor, drop that like, drop a sub, become part of the Hype Army. Tomorrow, me and dear is going to play. Some customs. Oh yeah, I'm streaming with Hyper Hanks tomorrow. Oh goodness. Subtle, OG, but subtle, I know mm. you, Meeks. I know you, Lag. I know you. What is the, is the stream finished? Oh, these guys so, are still alive, still alive, still alive. Thank okay, you, okay. thank you, thank you. Yeah, um, On the spot, right? Yeah, All right, right, let's uh, let's over to the to the last couple of minutes of the stream. So uh, let's just wait a couple of seconds. But on uh, on a real note. Uh, I do want to thank everyone for supporting the stream and supporting, you know, the whole podcasting. It has been like, this is the fifth episode and it's already doing, exp like it's doing amazing. Um, and I feel there's a lot more potential. We're going to have a lot. You're going to, we're going to have massive guests on here and it's going to be, it's going to be revolutionary. Uh, I just want to thank everyone once again for watching today, uh, taking the time out of your day. We will be streaming Fortnite a bit later, I think around about 9 p.m., 9 or 10 p.m. Because uh, we just need to wait for the stream to cool down a bit. If you guys haven't watched the new video, please go check it out. It would be very, very much appreciated. If you guys do want to check out the limited edition Devil Black merchandise, type exclamation mark merch in the chat so you guys can go have a look pre-order your hoodie now for 350 
rand only and you guys can go over to tint formula go type exclamation mark tint in the chat go use code devil for 10 percent off your order it does really support your boy and get yourself the best of the best energy drink in south africa um thank you guys for supporting the movement you guys are absolutely insane we are five likes off of 100 um and then i pre-ordered mine thanks devil and tint formula thank you guys of course, i do appreciate it um, thank you very much for having us all right thank you guys for coming on i do really appreciate you guys much love to you Oaks. and so uh, it was wonderful much love to you devil and much love to the stream obviously we couldn't we couldn't be here and couldn't keep growing like we have been growing without without the stream and without the supporters i do really appreciate it and uh we uh we're gonna be everyone should watch this space i think i'm gonna end off with a statement and uh, it's gonna be watch the space watch the yeah. space everyone should watch Back. the space in the next Big couple fact. of months to the next year to the next year just watch oh, the well, space everyone very close to my <laughs> uh i'm gonna <laughs> see you guys on the next week next week for the next episode of the on the spot podcast it's been what devil black travis Cade, and we're out guys peace <laughs>